Now at 11, an unlawful assembly declared in downtown Portland tonight as hundreds are gathering outside City Hall. It is 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. We saw officers run at protesters, making several arrests. This all started to happen about 30 minutes ago. Jacqueline Abad live on the scene in downtown right now. And Jacqueline, what can you tell us? Well, Jeff, I saw about six people being arrested by Portland police. Now, there was about 100 people gathered outside City Hall, and then that's when officers moved in. They pushed the crowd south, and then the crowd went around to the other side. And now you can see behind me that there's a crowd gathered at, in the Lonsdale and Chapman squares. Um, there's about 100 people out here. Police have given two warnings, again, reminding people out here that this is declared in a lawful assembly. Um, we saw multiple arrests as officers rush the crowd south, pushing the crowd elsewhere. Um, today we spoke with Chuck Chief Lavelle about the ongoing protests, and this is what he had to say. Monday night, people chanted, if we don't get it, burn it down, as they marched to the Portland Police Association building. People set multiple fires at and around the building. Police declaring it a riot within minutes. How can you possibly just like right out the gate say something's a riot and go and chase people? Police used tear gas and arrested 25 people. Police say because of the destruction, they had to pull about 30 officers away from their precincts, impacting calls for service. So the same folks that are getting pelted with rocks and mortars, they're the same ones that you know, brush their uniforms off and go take the welfare check, go see about the domestic violence victim and things of that nature. It's just to serve and protect. Those organizing these recent nightly events are calling for no cops, no prisons, and they want total abolition. <laughs> Today, Chief Chuck Lavelle responded to those demands. I'm always open for a conversation. I don't think abolishing the police is the answer. Um, I don't even think defunding the police is the answer. I think if you want a, a really great uh, public service agency or police department, you have to make investments in it um, in training and people. Now back here live, you can see about 100 people still gathered inside the squares. Again, earlier this evening, about an hour ago, they were out front of the City Hall area where we did see people get inside City Hall. We saw some graffiti as um, before, uh, right after police rushed the crowd south of the building. Again, the police have made several arrests. I saw at least six people arrested during tonight's unlawful assembly. Jeff, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Okay, Jacqueline Abad on the scene. And